In this video, I'll show you how you can change your software simulation captions into Smart Shapes. I got a message from one of my viewers on my software simulation tutorial. Great information, Paul. Is it possible to change the default text inserted into hint failure shapes or change the default text failure shape from a rectangle to an arrow smart shape? Not sure if we can easily do an arrow mark, but I'll show you today how you can, first of all, convert it from a standard caption that we see an old style captivate caption into something that you can work with and adjust in the form of a smart shape so i've got adobe captivate running on my desktop here and i've got the adobe website here and i want to create a simulation of navigating to the captivate section of the adobe website so i'm going to start off with software simulation i'm going to click create and I've already selected the window that I wish to capture. I'm going to change this to application region so I don't show the URL bar and stuff. I'll just show the website itself. And uh, we're just going to do a demo at this point. Now, I haven't changed any settings, so we're going to see those classic captions that you get with Adobe Captivate. And I'll just do a simple tutorial here, just a couple of steps. So we're going to, first of all, search for the word captivate i'm going to press enter and i'll click on this learn more adobe captivate which should bring me to the main page where you can learn about adobe captivate and that's fine i'm just going to click on my captivate icon in my taskbar and this should create a very simple simulation here now you can see here it's using these old style captions which we've all seen if we've been using captivate for quite a while and there's really not much you can do with these of course you can change them from any of these uh, caption types that are available if you change them to let's say one of these adobe pop-up types you can even change the color they're not entirely uh limited but you know they, they are somewhat simplified and if you would prefer something a little bit more modern and up to date, changing it to shapes can be a little bit more desirable. So let me close this project down. We're not going to save it. And before we start a new software simulation, we're going to go into the edit drop down menu and select preferences. If you're on a Mac, it's going to be the Adobe Captivate drop down menu and you'll see preferences there. Now, once I'm into preferences, I want to go into modes. Now, underneath the demonstration mode, of course, we have uh, regular captions being added to our project, and that's fine. But we're going to change that. We're going to use smart shapes instead of captions. From here, you can select from four different types of captions. Now, just to note, you can change these captions later. You can change your smart shapes from one style of smart shape to another. But at this stage, we really only have a choice uh, between rectangle, rounded rectangle, oval, and cloud of all things. Uh, I usually will switch it to just straight up rectangles and we'll just go ahead and click OK here. So now let's do that same software simulation. I'm going to just go back to the main page of Adobe and we'll duplicate those same steps again. I'll click on software simulation and click on create. Uh, again, I'm going to choose application region just to get what's in the browser and not the browser itself. And we'll go ahead and record. So I can click on the search icon type in the word captivate and we can click on learn more and here we are on the adobe captivate page itself i'm going to go ahead and click on the adobe captivate icon in my taskbar to end this recording and now of course you'll see that you have the captions have been transformed into smart shapes and of course you can change these into anything that you wish the beauty of smart shapes is that i can go in i can change the color of anything of course i can switch 
this to maybe a rounded rectangle instead. Or I can right click on the actual shape itself and replace the smart shape with any of the smart shapes that are available. For example, uh, Mark was looking for arrows. So if you wanted to show an arrow, you certainly could do that here. And then of course, you just simply need to resize it and edit the text as you normally would. So I could type here, select the search icon and we just need to place that appropriately here. If you do make changes to things like the color, the opacity, and things like that, even the font that you're using, so if we wanted to make this a smaller font, for example, change the color to green to have it stand out, maybe we'll bump up that font a little bit. One of the things that you can do is save the changes to your default smart shape style to ensure that this will affect all the other captions on all the other pages. You just need to, of course, right click and replace the smart shape with something else that you wish to use. If you thought this video was helpful, please like and share it with your colleagues. If you need help with Adobe Captivate, hire Paul for one on one instruction. Paul's goal is to focus on lessons based on your specific needs. Visit his website at CaptivateTeacher.com and don't forget to subscribe to his YouTube channel.